Hello, my friends. How are you today? I hope you've had a good day. I know I definitely have, because today, guess what came in the mail? Mm-hmm. Another letter from Ferguson. Ferguson is my wombat friend. He's a little wombat with a big personality, and he travels all around Australia. But last time we met Ferguson, mm, things were not going well for them. Rue, his kangaroo friend, had gotten himself very excited and wasn't safe when travelling through a dangerous forest. His tail is trapped, and poor Ferguson, he is not feeling too well and doesn't even know where Rue is. Luckily, their friend Hooter is very wise and is there to help them. Shall we see how Hooter's going? All right. Rue told Hooter where to find Ferguson. Please hurry, he added. I don't want to be trapped here forever. My tail. Oh, my beautiful tail, he cried. Hooter hurried off to find Ferguson, who was jumping up and down on the spot. He seems to feel better. Hello, Ferguson, called Hooter. What are you doing? Ferguson stopped jumping. Oh, my, gra my brains have, have grown into my feet. I'm trying to make them go back into my head where they should be. Oh, do do, laughed Hooter. Don't be silly, Ferguson. Rue told me what you'd done. Your brains couldn't go into your feet, no matter how long you stood on your head. It's the blood rushing into your head that makes you feel funny. Oh, you are a funny wombat. Hooter laughed and laughed. Mm. Anybody else feel like Hooter's wasting some time? Ferguson's face, though, it went very red. Poor Ferguson. He felt very silly. Mm, and hoped all his friends wouldn't hear how silly he was. He looked around to see if Rue was laughing too. Uh, where's Rue? He asked. <gasps> oh, said Hooter. Oh dear, I forgot. Rue got trapped under a tree. We were on our way to help you. You must hurry back to push the branch off his tail while I go and find Angelica Rue. We might need her help too. Ferguson was very worried, and so he made his way back to the forest as quickly as he could. Mm. But it wasn't very fast, because the waddling stump of a wombat is very slow. Rue, Rue, he called, as he stumbled his way between the fallen trees. Talk to me, Rue, where are you? A little way ahead, he could hear Rue making small, sad noises. Oh, poor Rue. And soon he was by his side. Not far behind him, Angelica Rue arrived. She could move much faster than Ferguson, and had come as soon as Hooter had told her what had happened. Oh, Rue, my friend, said Ferguson sadly. Oh, your tail's squashed under the tree. Hurry, Ferguson, said Angelica Rue. We must all work quickly. If you push against the branch with all of your weight, I'm sure Rue can pull out his tail from underneath. Hmm. Angelica Rue is a friend we haven't met yet. But she's doing something different to Hooter in this situation, isn't she? Angelica Rue's come in and helped us to help solve the problem. Do we notice that Angelica Rue gives us some direction? Sometimes when people are in trouble, especially if we've got lots of other thoughts going on, it's easier to stop and wait for somebody else to start. However, the most important thing to know is that if something big is going on, like if we've got a big project at school, or if we want to start playing a game, we don't want to be bossy. And also, we don't want to stand around and contribute to the problem. Instead, it's better to come in and say something like, All right, hi there, Ferguson. You're going to push the branch. I'm going to help pick up the sticks so that Rue doesn't get hurt. By giving clear directions like this, it's easier for our friends to understand what's going on and how to move forward. Otherwise, sometimes people get lost and they don't know where to begin. I know I certainly don't know where to begin, especially if I've got a big project or I'm really worried about something. You know what? That's also an idea in there too. If we ever feel like we're a bit more like Hooter or Ferguson, who just sit and stare at the problem, rather than like Angelica Rue, who starts to take action, it might be a good idea to find someone like Angelica and ask them, what should I do first? How do I start this? That way we can have some direction and it's easier to get started. I like to do that for sure. If you've ever felt a bit lost in a task before and don't quite know what to do, let me know down below. I'm keen to hear. <laughs> Shall we see if it works out for them though? All right. All right. 
no, Angelica Rue is starting to help them move the tree. And Ferguson leans against the branch. He pushed and pushed as hard as he could. And finally, with one big shove, oh, the branch toppled off for his tail. Thank goodness. I was worried about Rue. I'm free, yelled Rue and looked at his sore tail. Oh, but my poor tail's all swollen. Never mind, Rue, said Angelica softly. We'll help you back to my house and I'll bandage it up for you. She's nice, Angelica. I like her. Oh, oh, said called Hooter from where he'd been hovering in the trees above. But now that you're all fine, I'm, uh, I'm going to go back to my tree, which I never should have left. Daytime is meant for sleeping. <laughs> I guess some people never really want to get involved, do they? But that's okay. I hope you had a good time reading this story with me. I can't wait for the next instalment. Come and join me. I'll see you then, friends. Bye-bye.